Williams Moving and Storage WHL Central is brought to you by Williams Moving and Storage. Proud to be part of your community. Online at williamsmoving.com. With Williams, your home. The dream of every Western Hockey League player is to be drafted and sign a professional contract. For Brandon's Matt Calvert, all was going according to plan. He was taken in the fifth round of the 2008 draft by the Columbus Blue Jackets, and after a stellar training camp in 2009, he was offered a deal that would see him join the Jackets AHL affiliate in Syracuse. That is when he took the unusual step of declining the contract in order to return to the WHL. I think for myself, uh, I talked with uh, Scott House in Columbus, and it was it was a tough decision. I. Uh, I, one day I wanted to go pro, one day I wanted to come back, but uh, at the end uh, I had to make my decision uh, by, uh, by a deadline and uh, in the end my heart was back here. I couldn't come back here and watch the boys, uh, boys potentially win a Mem Cup without me. So uh, that, was, uh, that was the biggest part of my decision and uh, I had to have no regrets. He turned down the contract there and you know, he's having a pretty good camp in Columbus there and uh, obviously he's a, you know, a big you know, jolt to our team now when he came back and uh, you know, obviously he helped our team this year. To understand Calvert's decision, you must first understand his desire to be a Wheat King. Brandon is his hometown, and he had always dreamed of the day when he would be a part of this organization. I always wanted to be a Wheat King, and then I, the, the dream kind of dream kind of faded when I was about uh, 14, and I was about 5 feet tall, so I was kind of looking at the college route after that, and uh, when I was uh, 17 years old, I got presented with the opportunity of potentially playing here, and uh, I decided to take it and uh, run with it, and it uh, worked out good. In the end, the decision to return paid off. Calvert had a stellar season. He finished fourth in the league in scoring with 47 goals and 99 points. He signed a deal with the Blue Jackets on March 16th, and most importantly, he has gotten to play in his hometown in front of his friends and family at the biggest championship in Canadian junior hockey. They're great fans, and uh, they've supported us the uh, last two years I've been here. They've been great, and I've, uh, I've been a fan in the stands here, so it's, uh, I've got both perspectives. And it's uh, just a, it's a great time. I, I love playing in this building. Uh, there's no other place I'd rather play. The passion for junior hockey in this country is no more evident than at the Memorial Cup in Brandon. Whether you are young or old, from the East Coast, West Coast, or somewhere in between, fans come together to celebrate this great game. For me, this is my 12th consecutive Memorial Cup. I started in 1999 in Ottawa when the Hitmen were in it, and we had such a great time that we were going back the next year regardless. The Hitmen were projected to be in there. They didn't make it, but we still went. Had another great time. We just we just keep going. Uh, we've been doing this for six years. Um, it, it's for the love of the hockey. Our daughter stays at home with her grandparents, and we go on holidays. <laughs> I was born in Brandon, and uh, I still have some family here. It was a double-barreled thing. Come back, visit family, see good hockey. What more could you want? Talk about a family outing. Belleville to Brandon or bust. We drove, and then we managed to fly these guys out. They could only come for four days, but we managed to acquire tickets for them for the games, and they're here. How many times have you guys been to Memorial Cup? Uh, he's 10 or 11. But why do you keep coming back year after year? Uh, we get to see Canada, tour around, good hockey, and hopefully our team gets there. <laughs> More impressive, perhaps, is the fact the Peterborough Pete sent out an all-star lineup. Brandon came to Peterborough in 1996, and we beat them in overtime to get into the final, so we wanted to come out and root for Brandon this time. We're here to cheer on Brandon. Realizing they were not alone in their affinity for junior hockey, a group based out of Calgary got together to create the Junior Hockey Junkies. The idea to make the Memorial Cup their annual pilgrimage. Uh, this, this year we've got 72. There's uh, 40 from Calgary and 32 from uh, across Canada. And all these people committed by February 1st. This wasn't a wait wait to see if their team was in it and come, they, they were coming regardless. It's a yearly get together, you know, from people across Canada uh, to celebrate junior hockey. It's just a great event. We look forward to it. Right from the time this one's over, we'll be booking our stuff for Mississauga next year. Williams Moving and Storage WHL Central is brought to you by Williams Moving and Storage. 
Proud to be part of your community. Online at williamsmoving.com. With Williams, your home.